Well, five people are suing the city of Antioch, California, over the police department's alleged pattern of abuse toward residents. The federal lawsuit claims the plaintiffs or their family members were targeted by officers based on their race and gender. Protesters gathered outside the Antioch police station earlier this week. A recent investigation revealed many of the department's officers had sent racist and homophobic text messages to each other, along with members of the public. In one case, it was revealed officers allegedly discussed brutally beating a resident during an arrest. CBS News correspondent Elise Preston joins us now. Elise, very disturbing. The federal investigation into this has been going on for a year now. What more are we uncovering? Well, Meg, we're learning more about how many officers uh, are involved in those group texts. Uh, allegedly, the, according to the investigation, 45 officers of Antioch's 99 officers. So that's nearly 40 percent of the force uh, was involved in these group texts. Now, the investigation reveals that not all of those people sent text messages, but they didn't do anything to stop it. About 17 officers continuously sent text messages uh, throughout these group texts that dated back to 2019. Uh, of those officers, many were sergeants and lieutenants. And again, no one reported misconduct. Now, those texts referred to black people as gorillas and monkeys. They bragged about beating people while on patrol. They even uh, bragged about fabricating evidence. One officer saying that uh, they would just say that someone fully confessed to something even though they hadn't. And in some of those uh, text messages, they spoke about a young man who is now incarcerated, uh, but they likened his head to a bowling ball. They bragged about kicking it like a field goal. And one of the texts that really stuck out to me, Megan Elaine, it said, I will bury that N-word in my fields. So a lot of people have called these uh, vile and disgusting and disturbing, as you can imagine. Uh, I mean, Elise, how have these revelations affected the community? Do people who live in Antioch actually have faith in the remaining officers left to police the city? Well, many people are upset. They said that they don't have faith. They said that they don't feel protected. Uh, the attorney who filed the lawsuit uh, against the police department and the city, uh, he said that uh, officer, that, excuse me, residents were likely more safe around gangsters than they were police. We spoke with one woman. Her son is a plaintiff in the lawsuit. She said that she uh, did not have a good feeling when dealing with police, so she left. She took her other two children, who are now 18 and 14, and she moved to another community. People have said that they cannot trust uh, that the officers will protect them. They also cannot trust their word. So as you can imagine, a lot of tension here in Antioch. Even the mayor uh, told us yesterday in a sit-down interview uh, that he did not trust the police department to protect himself, to protect his 13-year-old daughter, or protect his home. And this is coming from the city's mayor. Just troubling to hear these details. Elise Preston for us. Elise, thank you.